Hi everyone, what a way to start off a new week. It was no secret for everyone who follows Ken and Roberta Williams' social media pages that the two founders of the once dominant Sierra Online have a new video game in the works. Over the last few months, the couple, along with other industry veterans, had set up a new company called Cygnus Entertainment. They have been working full-time for a new project, but there were only a few bits of information available, mostly after some recent Ken Williams interviews. This project has been unveiled today, March the 21st, at the Developers Conference, and it is none other than the 3D remake of the Colossal Cave Adventure. For those that this title does not ring any bells, let me quickly update you before we move on to the actual new game trailer. Colossal Cave Adventure, also known as Adventure or Advent, is a text-based adventure game released in 1976 by Will Crowther and later expanded by Don Woods. It is considered the first ever adventure game developed and served as inspiration for games like Zork or other iconic franchises. It was this game's executable that Ken Williams stumbled upon and led him and Roberta to develop their first game, Mystery House. The rest of course is history, as the two of them created Sierra Online, a company which along with LucasArts dominated the industry during the Zandra's heyday in the 80s and 90s. You can find more information about this and other adventure games in my channel and especially in a two-hour documentary I have created about the rise and fall of the adventure games. I will have the link in the description of this video for you to watch later. Now, Colossal Cave 3D is a Unity-based 3D remake of that game with enhanced visuals and locations. There will also be virtual reality version of the game that will support the Oculus Quest 2 headset. Cygnus is planning to release Colossal Cave 3D this summer or fall. It will be available on the Quest 2, the PC, the Mac and with possible additional platforms that are also in consideration. The initial teaser, which was also revealed today, follows. I will try to update you with more information as they become available. Enjoy the trailer and don't forget to comment below what you think about this new upcoming game. Ken and Roberta Williams' fairy tale began 50 years ago as teenagers, who, in late 1972, married just one year out of high school. By 1979, they were living happily ever after. Ken had fulfilled his life dream of becoming a computer programmer, while Roberta, between computer jobs of her own, was busy raising their two small sons. One day, Ken carried home from work a teletype connected to a computer at MIT. On it, he discovered a text game simply called Advent. He ran it, and the first words displayed would change their lives forever. You're standing at the end of the road before a small brick building. He showed this to Roberta, who immediately took over and played the game for weeks. When she finished, having earned all 350 points, She said to him, I love that game, and I have a game idea of my own. Will you program it for me? Maybe with graphics? I'm calling it Mystery House. Together, they formed Sierra Online to develop more games. Roberta designed many hit products. And over the next 18 years, Sierra grew to over 1,000 employees, with Ken as CEO. Sierra went public on NASDAQ in 1987 and was acquired in 1997. Roberta and Ken subsequently retired, built a home in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, then bought a boat and circumnavigated the oceans for almost 15 years, running the boat themselves. Meanwhile, the game that had inspired Roberta went on to become famous. Microsoft published it as their first game. Apple also launched it as their first game. Not long after, Atari made it into a cartridge that sold a million copies. Over the next 45 years, the game known as Colossal Cave Adventure would be remade over 180 times. 
There are hundreds, if not thousands, of websites dedicated to it. An internet search finds 2.1 million references, and phrases such as zizzy have entered our culture.